I'm going to give you guys a uh, quick tutorial on how to possibly maximize your FPS in DayZ standalone. Uh, these are the settings that I use, and I get anywhere between 35 to 45 SPS, depending on the location on the server, and also what server I do end up in. And these could help, and they could not. It just really depends on what your PC is and your location as well. Uh, but to get started, basically I do go to Steam, go ahead and right click on DayZ and go to Properties. Go ahead and set launch options. Now go ahead and type in new UI. This does increase, give you a little bit more frames per second. Uh, it does me anyways. Click OK. And then what I do also is go to your documents here. Go to DayZ. Now you can uh, go ahead and switch these up to uh, GPU max frames ahead to one and one. It does, it'll give you about another maybe five frames, maybe 10, depending on also what your PC is. Some people may see a difference, some may not. Go ahead and uh, click file and save that. Now in the DAISY itself, go ahead and go to configure, video. Now these are what I, settings that I use. I keep the objects low keep the terrain at low. Uh, the clouds and shadows don't make a difference. That really depends on your GPU. Um, the video memory, I keep that on auto. Texture detail very high. Texture filtering very high. And antalyzing depending. I keep mine on high. FXA very high. HDR quality is low. And then that's basically that. Click apply. And basically, you're just going to have to kind of play with these a little bit. Once you uh, get into the game itself, you'll actually see a little bit of difference. And then you just kind of fidget back and forth to see what you can get as far as performance and possibly what the game looks like. So, uh, in the link of the description, or in the description itself, I'm going to go ahead and show you the my build. It's an AMD 8350. I have it overclocked to 4.6 gigahertz. Um, maybe not possibly the best rig out there, but it gets me by until I get enough money to buy something else. At least uh, maybe possibly an Intel i7. That'll probably be my next build. But I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe if you like it. And I'll see you guys in DayZ.